We build our own seats. We build our own motors. We build our own battery packs. With this statement, Tesla is killing lithium, the very metal that made its fortune. I think it'll be 10 times bigger than the next biggest product ever made. But why would Elon Musk replace the world's most successful battery with salt and aluminum? Sounds crazy, right? But those two elements might just be the secret to the next energy revolution. Aluminum ion and sodium ion technologies could mark the biggest leap in EV batteries since the first Model 2 rolled off the line. They promise ultra-fast charging, as quick as 60 seconds, cooler operation than any lithium cell, and prices less than half of today's packs. So the question isn't why Elon is doing this. It's how soon it'll reshape the entire EV industry. In this video, we'll uncover how Tesla's 2026 aluminum ion and sodium ion batteries could slash costs by 70%, redefine safety forever, and end lithium's 30-year reign once and for all. If you're tired of marketing talk and want the truth about the tech that really drives change, hit subscribe and ring the bell. Let's push auto gear shift past 12,557 subscribers and keep real car talk alive for people who care about machines that work, not just promise. Why aluminum and sodium could beat lithium and make EV batteries super cheap. Most of us remember when a gallon of gas cost under two bucks, right? Now imagine the same kind of inflation, but for the fuel that powers electric cars. That's what happened with lithium. Back in 2022, lithium carbonate shot up to $80,000 a ton, about 10 times its pre-pandemic cost. Even now, in 2025, it hasn't really come back down. It's floating between $14,000 and $17,000. This quiet number is the reason EVs still cost more than most people want to pay. Because when lithium stays high, Battery packs can't drop below roughly $100 to $130 per kilowatt hour. And that means a battery, just one battery, still eats up nearly a third of what a car costs to make. But here's the curveball. Tesla and other labs are testing two elements most of us have sitting in our kitchens. Aluminum and sodium. On paper, they sound boring. But their numbers break the math that's been holding electric vehicles hostage. Aluminum trades at about $2,000 to $2,500 per ton, roughly seven times cheaper than lithium. Sodium, pulled straight from salt or seawater, costs under $300. If Tesla can perfect a mix of aluminum ion and sodium ion chemistry, the entire pack could drop below $30 per kilowatt hour. That's the same target Elon Musk threw out back on Battery Day in 2020, when most people thought it was a stretch. Here's what that actually means. Take a standard EV where the battery costs $8,000, swap in aluminum or sodium, and that number could fall to $2,000, or even lower. Suddenly, the $25,000 Model 2 isn't some PR dream. It's an economically sound product, with room left for profit. MIT's Energy Initiative ran the numbers and found that sodium ion alone could reduce global EV battery material costs by as much as 40%. That's not just cheaper. It's a change in the ground beneath the auto industry's feet. You can't compete with a chemistry that's both local and infinite. But here's where it gets even more disruptive. The economics scale like nothing we've seen before. Unlike lithium, which comes mostly from a handful of countries, Australia, Chile, and China, both aluminum and sodium are everywhere. Aluminum is the most abundant metal in Earth's crust. Sodium? It's literally in seawater. That means no more supply bottlenecks, no geopolitical choke points, and no rare earth dependency driving prices up. Refining lithium is expensive, slow, and environmentally harsh. You need evaporation ponds, acid leaching, and months of processing before it's battery grade. Aluminum and sodium skip most of that. Aluminum smelting is already an industrial backbone. Sodium can be extracted with simple chemical separation. Less refining means less cost per ton, and fewer middlemen taking their cut. 
Analysts at Bloomberg NEF estimate that if sodium ion or aluminum ion production scales just to 10% of global EV demand, raw material costs alone could fall by another 20-25% to 25 within five years. Combine that with localized U.S. or European production. No overseas shipping, no tariffs, and the pack price could realistically fall to $25 per kilowatt hour. At that point, batteries stop being the most expensive part of an EV. They become the cheapest. And when energy storage becomes cheap and endless, the ripple effect doesn't stop with cars. It changes everything from grid storage to home power systems. Yes or no? Is this the battery breakthrough we've all been waiting for? Drop your thoughts below, because what comes next might prove it really is. How Tesla decides which battery is truly safe, aluminum or sodium? Elon Musk once said, like we're, At Tesla, we're absolutely hardcore about safety. And in the battery world, that isn't just a slogan, it's an engineering religion. As Tesla weighs two next-generation chemistries, aluminum ion and sodium ion, the question isn't only which one is cheaper. It's which one can survive a lifetime of heat, cold, impact, and neglect without turning into a fire hazard. Lithium ion, for all its brilliance, has a nervous temperament. It's powerful but unstable like a racehorse that kicks when startled. Both aluminum and sodium promise calmer behavior, but in very different ways. Sodium ion batteries are chemically modest. Sodium doesn't form the sharp metallic dendrites that plague lithium, those microscopic needles that pierce separators and trigger short circuits. In 2024, TATL ran a brutal series of tests, nail punctures, open flames, and even direct crushing, and the sodium cells didn't ignite once. A lithium pack under the same abuse burns within seconds. Sodium's chemistry is simply less volatile. Its ions carry charge without the same eagerness to react with moisture or oxygen. Add to that its ability to keep 90 to 95% of its capacity even at minus 20 degrees Celsius. And you have a battery that feels like it was designed for Canada rather than California. The trade-off? Sodium ions are bulkier and heavier than lithium, which means slower diffusion and shorter life. Roughly 2,000 to 4,000 charge cycles compared to lithium's 5,000 plus. Overcharging can also swell electrodes, which Tesla would need to manage with precision software and cell balancing. Still, in the grand safety hierarchy, sodium ion sits comfortably near the top. Stable, tolerant, predictable. Aluminum ion is another creature entirely. It doesn't behave like a softer lithium cousin. It behaves like an armored soldier. The cells rely on graphene or carbon-based cathodes, materials that can endure extraordinary current and heat. University of Queensland tests in 2023 showed aluminum ion prototypes surviving 10,000 full cycles with zero recorded thermal runaway. Even under temperatures exceeding 120 degrees Celsius, they held structural integrity. Their electrolyte is a non-flammable ionic liquid, which means even if you puncture the cell or drive a nail through it, there's no combustion, just a dull hiss. The paradox, however, is that aluminum's strength hides a fragility. It reacts aggressively with water. A single droplet inside an unsealed pack could trigger corrosion or gas buildup. So while sodium's danger lies in overcharging, aluminum's lies in imperfection. Tesla would need absolutely dry manufacturing rooms and perfect sealing tolerances, a margin that only automated gigafactories can achieve. In return, the reward is enormous. Heat resistance, ultra-fast charging, and an operational lifespan approaching the mechanical durability of an engine block. So, which battery truly wins Tesla's safety race? If lithium-ion is a high-strung athlete, fast but temperamental, then sodium ion is the calm engineer and aluminum ion the armored guardian. In raw safety terms, sodium ion edges ahead in chemical stability. It shrugs off abuse, cold weather, and moisture without flaring up, making it ideal for mass market models like the Tesla Model 2, especially in colder regions of North America and Europe. It's forgiving, predictable, and perfect for everyday commuters. 
Aluminum ion, meanwhile, is the fortress. Its ionic liquid electrolyte and carbon-based architecture can survive heat, punctures, and crushing forces that would destroy any lithium pack. But it demands precision, airtight factories, dry environments, and flawless assembly. That makes it better suited for premium or performance EVS, where Tesla can control every manufacturing detail. So when Elon said lithium is outdated, what did you think? He's right or it's too soon? Comment to let us know your point. How Tesla plans to build the first non-lithium battery fleet by 2026. When Elon Musk calls something the next industrial revolution, he's talking about the Model 2. This isn't just another car. It's Tesla's first step toward a battery future that doesn't rely on lithium at all. Inside Giga Texas, Tesla is preparing the world's first aluminum ion pilot line, built to power the Model 2 from day one. Early reports suggest a partnership with Redwood Materials, closing the loop by recovering aluminum and carbon directly from industrial scrap instead of mining fresh ore. Every cell produced could be partly recycled by design, a world first in EV manufacturing. Here's the rollout plan insiders are watching. By early 2026, Tesla aims to complete internal testing on the first aluminum ion packs for prototype Model 2s. By mid-2026, these batteries could enter mass assembly, debuting alongside the $25,000 Model 2 itself. Meanwhile, sodium ion packs are expected to serve colder markets and entry trims, where stability outweighs extreme range. Together, they form a dual chemistry strategy, aluminum for performance, sodium for everyday reliability. Do you want the near-instant charge and aerospace-grade stability of aluminum ion, or the cool-running, cost-cutting resilience of sodium ion? It's not about chemistry, it's about trade-offs, safety, speed, and what kind of future you're betting on. So here's the real question. Would you pay more for a battery that never catches fire, or save big with one that lasts longer and costs less to replace? Drop your take in the comments, aluminum or sodium, and tell us why. If you want more breakdowns that strip away the hype and focus on what actually shapes the next era of EVS, hit like, subscribe to Autogear Shift, and ring that bell for our next deep dive.